Okay guys, hopefully that's a little bit better. So today we are going to be talking about my updated island and ultimately just on the water's edge survival knife setup. And so this is a little bit new and I apologize for the not so watery background. I just kind of decided that I really did want to incorporate more fishing aspect into this. And so before we even go out into the field, I'm just really excited to share it with you <clears throat> and kind of see what you guys think and overall share this with you, maybe give you guys some ideas. So now let's okay, jump in. guys. So today, like I said, we're gonna be talking about this little setup that does like to roll quite a bit. Now, honestly, there is a bit of an issue with bulk and I know a lot of people be like, man, that's so bulky, it sucks. And ultimately, I, to that person, I will say, try finding a containment unit that can fit just a couple of these things that is less bulky than this because honestly I did a lot of Amazon searching and this was the best thing I could find <clears throat> so anyways this is just a little condor pouch and I forget the name of it but I'll roll it into uh, the annotations but what I like about this pouch is that uh, it has a little area right here for keeping quick access stuff and then it has a bigger containment unit right here for keeping larger items that are still relatively compact. So starting off with the base unit right here, <clears throat> obviously the actual rig is running is a Chris Reeves knives Pacific and I like the Pacific because it's a very capable and as I've showed in the last video it's a very capable, very good to use uh, uh, water friendly knife. So I really love this knife in particular. I think it's one of the best kind of catch-all or do-all survival knives that's also extremely rust resistant. So that kind of led me to, I really love this knife, but at the same time, it's nice to have some more survival kit so that you can more properly use it. So <clears throat> the first thing to start off is we didn't change anything with the multi-tool. So we still have the good old Leatherman Super Tool 300. It's a little big, some may say, but I really like it because it's a very capable and very useful outdoors multi-tool that can help with doing some things that the knife can't do or the large survival knife can do, such as it has a smaller blade so I can do more carving and kind of fine tasks with that. It also has the pliers for fishing and helping me out with different fishing tasks and it has a whole bunch of different nice parts for fishing especially. So that's what I have just in there. That's all I have in this little clip compartment. So jumping over to the big compartment, I basically modeled this for everything has to do, some part to do, aside from the ferro rod, because that's just survival. Uh, everything else has something to do or something to contribute with fishing. So <clears throat> the first two things you open up and see is one, aluminum foil, and this is a thicker gauged aluminum foil, and I wanted the aluminum foil for uh, fish baking so basically you catch your fish clean it out you can throw it on the this piece of aluminum foil wrap it up and cook it really easily and you can do that time and time and time again because aluminum foil doesn't just you know melt away <coughs> so it's useful multiple times then nextly <clears throat> I have just a really general purpose mini uh, kind of tackle box it's barely that but what I have in here is one large hook uh, for larger fish, things like your salmon or your larger kind of fish that do swim in the river. This is a hook that you'd use for them. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. So there you guys go, you can see that big mean hook and uh, yeah, that is strictly for that. And the primary reason I, will, I have that hook I'll get to in a moment. <clears throat> so looking back at this kit, once the video focuses. So looking back at this kit, uh, we have, what are these, uh, buoys, sorry. Then we have different sinkers. We have a line sinker here. So this actually threads onto your line, your fishing line, and sinks you. Then you have split shot uh, sinkers there too. And then we have some specialty, smaller specialty hooks that have sinkers attached to them. And then we have a few small hooks, things for smaller fish, <coughs> and then a whole passel of these medium-sized hooks, and I'll bring this a little bit closer for y'all. 
So there you guys go. You can see a little bit better. We have a whole pass of these medium sized hooks, which are all conveniently hooked on each other. So that's convenient. But we have a whole bunch of these uh, barbed medium hooks. If I can pull them all out here. So then we have more split shot. And then lastly, because this is a watertight containment unit, so you guys can still see this. So then we got some uh, tinder quicks right here because once again, it's nice to have some tinder quick for fire starting. <coughs> so that's basically everything that would go on a line. <coughs> and once again, your fish cooking kind of stuff. So digging back into here, uh, the next most important thing for fishing is my what I call my line and lures. So I have a pretty long plastic bag, you guys can see, and I could use that for water catchment or just whatever I need the bag for. But I have a whole bunch, as you guys can see, a like whole assortment of different lures. So I have everything from fake worms to different fake larvas and small fish uh, there. And then of course I have a 40 pound monofilament line. <coughs> and that's why I have the heavier duty uh, hook right here because this 40 pound will work with the will work with the uh, lighter or smaller hooks but at the same time it will also uh, work with the bigger hook so that's the primary reason I have such heavy rope or line I should say so then next getting into it <clears throat> the only other two things I have is just a nice little light my fire army and I primarily would use this in conjunction for the striker at least uh, the super tool 300 has a really good striker on it <coughs> and then lastly I have a flashlight that's a little bit tucked up in here and this is just the Pri uh, stylus pro by streamlight okay guys so after that slight interruption um, like I was saying, a lot of people would be like, Matthew, what in the world, you know, a flashlight being really helpful for survival or for fishing. But the thing was <clears throat> that it does get dark sometimes in the summertime of Alaska, especially in the early and late part of the summer. So having that flashlight, <clears throat> I know personally with threading all of these hooks, <clears throat> it's a very tiny eye. And it's very hard to see. So in the dark it's nice to have that little bit of extra light to be able to see and uh, see what you're doing as far as tying knots or threading <coughs> hooks putting on sinkers uh, you putting on <coughs> what is it uh, buoys all that kind of stuff so anyways that's why I threw the uh, flashlight in there it's not necessarily mission critical but at the same time too it's like you know I'm already taking up so much space with this uh, kit so might as well kind of throw just a little useful thing in there so anyways guys that's the basic uh, premise to this entire updated uh, on the water's edge survival knife kit that's kind of what I threw together <clears throat> that's what I threw together and hopefully you guys enjoyed this as always God bless and I'm out